we are approaching tech level 78. Uh, we're still 12 years ahead of time on it, though. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to move some of my armies around. I was looking at uh, some of the uh, province development in South America and seeing if anywhere would be... Uh, would have enough supply limit to hold all and or most of my troops, and it turns out Fairwinds actually has a supply limit of 78, uh, Port Desire has 72, and the one uh, they're standing in right now has 74, so I'm actually going to move them down to Fairwinds, and actually we're going to do this with our navy. Uh, I did switch back to trade, didn't I? Yes, I did. After our war with France. So, we're going to combine these two armies. And have them drill together in fair winds. And I'm building a couple of factories right now before I send colonists to the two provinces where I'm building them, but I have a pretty sizable amount of money, so I'm going to try to finish off the university spam, even though there's still a lot of places to build universities. And many more to go. Also, uh, I think it's time I start doing this, and that is converting cultures for uh, provinces that are not mine. We do get some sizable benefits for it, uh, especially in uh, the Industrial Age and having uh, the Enlightenment. We also have the cultural assimilation reform that we took way back whenever we first became a country. And so I'm, the, I'm starting with the cheapest ones first because they, a lot of them will have uh, adjacent culture to American, which makes them cheaper still. So we're just going to start converting them. And I'm going to burn pretty much all of my Diplo points right now. For the time being. And now we're heading into territory of 46 cost. All right, we'll see how that goes. We're still fabricating, or not fabricating claims, we're still building spy networks in Portugal and uh, one of their colonial nations. And I'm looking to sabotage Portugal's reputation. I need 60 with them. And they don't hate me nearly as much as I thought they would. What's going on in France? French pretender rebels? Awesome. France's want, uh, desire for my province is only a negative 64 right now. But, uh, lots of other negatives for various reasons. I also need to look into trying to get Aragon free again. Hopefully Portugal doesn't get a PU over Castile. Because that would be... That would be not a good thing. Alright, so... I'm going to let myself gain some power as uh, for Diplo. Uh, see how fast we're gaining it. I don't know if I'll have to, I'll have to spend more to not go over the limit before I can take railroad. Right now, the total cost would be fifteen hundred. Which 
issues with Switzerland has ended okay. And we'll start drilling this army now. That they have arrived. Cebu is 75 supply limit. And Pangasinan is actually higher. I'm going to let that university be finished building. But I plan on building a fort there. I think. And did I ever upgrade the natural harbor? I did not. So we'll do, take care of that. And I want to go see how much longer it'll be before these are done. 3rd of August of next year. So I'll keep that in mind. We're gaining 900 ducats a month right now. When do we get our next uh, states available? Level 79, and all the way up to 99 we get more states. It looks like every odd level starting at 90, and every odd level starting at... Actually, every odd level starting at 85, excluding 91. And then also 79 and 82. And what? We need 90? Uh, Spy Network to agitate for liberty? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm also going to send a diplomat to improve relations with the Niger Coast so that we can uh, increase our relations with them. Countries with to hire condottieri. They're at war with the Ottomans. Okay, I don't care if the Ottomans take that. I mean, they kind of do, but at the same time, I really don't care. So we'll take a little bit less attrition than we were in Cebu, which is kind of funny that that's lower attrition. And I do want to... I don't feel like I need the naval arsenal, but I'm going to leave that there for now. And we'll build a fortress. Shit, we are gaining money. It's so much money right now. Like, I know that we're gaining almost a thousand ducats a month, but it seems like... I don't know. It seems like it's going a lot faster than it should, right? Let's go ahead and build more universities. And it's August, right? 3rd of August. Looks like it's closer to being done than that. Maybe not. August is closer than I thought. I'm also tempted to build some trade company investments.
Um, I think there's supposed to be a supply limit. Okay, that's the supply limit. And I already, I already do have those built here. And... Let's go ahead and build a property appraiser for a thousand gold. More trade steering. Heated debates. Uh, some members of the parliament are having some concerns regarding our increasingly bad reputation. They are claiming that it's having a negative effect on our trade relations. This question has been raised numerous times in the past, but not that many have thought it of any consequence. This time the matter is causing some really heated debates, though. Uh, this time, uh, perhaps we should try to settle things. It's probably wise. We'll pay the money to have to take out a loan or two. Actually, two sucks but oh well but the good news is we will be able to pay that back in about nine months or no it'll be less than nine months six months ish and I'm tempted to build 30,000 more infantry for reinforcements even though it seems like I never use them. And that's actually got a high, su a high supply limit as well. Cool. Move more towards our force limit. What is the supply limit in Van Halen anyway? 56. And what is the cost to develop here? 10. And this has just been converted. Right, it is 20 development that I want. Yeah. Okay. And speaking of development, I'm about to do some more of it. We have to keep James Madison right now because he's amazing. He's righteous and also a 56-year-old 666. So if we're lucky he's got another 10 years in him before he inevitably dies. And we can already pay back a loan. And I'm going to start developing. one was I looking for? Uh, looking at earlier, was it Ventnor? Okay, never mind. And so now... One 
more into Fort Sam. Wait a minute. Alexandria was one of the ones I just sent a colonist to. All right, well, that's uh that's over. Bernard. It's coastal. Not quite American. Yeah, let's go with Monterey. After we build a factory, of course. And... Encourage development. We still have a ton of... development that we can do and should do. Of course I'm increasing manpower and taxes in a gold province. an absolute crap ton of development that can be done. Alright, we'll hold off again for a while. Actually going to send the colonists to San Francisco instead. Still ten years ahead of time. Thirteen sixty one is I think once I get the once that gets below a thousand I will take it as soon as possible. So I'm going to stick right uh, pretty close to being capped out on Diplo.
Are there any other possible alliances I can get? What about Ming? Ming hates me. They want all of my provinces. Adran. Okay, never mind. They're allied with the Ottomans. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm saving an alliance for Niger Coast. Hopefully. And Sabotage's reputation is exactly what? 60, right. I know I looked at that before, I just couldn't remember. Oh, okay, 78 as well. You know what? Having these guys, even suffering a little bit of attrition like this is... because they're not drilling and I don't plan on having them drill because we're full on leaders even though we do have two naval leaders Are there any wars going on right now? There's the Avon Conquest, uh, Conquest of Kolna. They attacked Castile, apparently. Why wouldn't you call me into that war? British... Pasai Imperialist War, Ottoman Bhutani Imperialist War. Okay. Current force limit 460 out of 617. And I'm also going to build a number of light ships. Fifty to be precise. Because one of my fleets doesn't have a hundred ships. And we've changed the culture of a bunch of, bunch of provinces. If I took this right now, well, I mean, yeah, I can't take it right now. Even if I had all the power that I could, I wouldn't be able to take it right now. But as soon as I'm able to take it, I might have a chance at being the first one to take it, which will give me a little bit of a boost to innovation or innovativeness. Francisco has been developed a little bit. Okay. We still have 25 years on the next uh, institution starting. Uh, fully improved relations with Niger Coast. for 50 years.
I think I'm going to wait until... towards the end of the industrial age. Ten provinces with at least 50 development. Let's work towards that, actually. It's fine. Okay, St. Vincent almost has 50. Let's go ahead and develop that a couple times. And actually, hold on. We're going to find the highest development provinces we have. Higway, Fort Miranda, Auburn. Pittsfield. Okay, both of those have factories. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's actually going to be one more than what I need, but that's fine. We're going to try to get ten provinces to fifty development. Wait, we don't have a better military tech than any of our rivals. Better military tech than any of my rivals. Ottomans? Uh, their tech is my tech. And the Timurids are probably the same. Yep. We're all at 77. St. Vincent Higway. Develop it 11 times. And then once each into those. That works, and I forgot to turn on the uh, development uh, reduction uh, edict. Fort Miranda. So we'll go four in each. All right. Gain base tax in Guaja. Gua 
Guaju. Or Guahu, depending on where it is. It's uh, 13 development right now. And produces... Alright, we'll develop it twice in each, I think. Or, I guess, just once. And then base tax once. Still a long ways off on, uh... Well, not a long ways off, but... 1831. So that's five years. We'll come down by another 80%, or another 10% in next year, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, slow goings as always, but we are, we are getting there. <laughs>